Hey guys, we have an MRE here, Sloppy Joe's, menu number 17. This is gonna be fun. It's actually packaged um, April 13th in 2020. So it's been together for a while, still should be good. Let's get after this one. When I was a kid, um, we had, I grew up in Iowa. Well, that opened easily. Um, we had a thing called Made Rights. And my mom would make Sloppy Joe's and you'd also have Made Rights when you went out to eat. And I've often wondered what the difference was. So here's the deal. A made right has, it's very simple. It's ground beef, usually 80%. Both Sloppy Joe's and made rights are 80-20 ground beef mix. 80% beef, 20% fat. But then the, the big thing is with a made right, it's mustard, a little bit of salt to cut the acidity of the mustard, and then uh, some onion and, and uh and that's it, salt and pepper to taste. Real simple, just a loose meat kind of a sandwich. You might add a little water to keep it a little more of a sauce in it, but not usually. And then a, a Sloppy Joe is, uh, that's got all kinds of stuff in it. That'll have uh, the 80-20 beef as well, but no mustard. It's got ketchup, brown sugar, spices, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, uh, cloves and then salt and pepper to taste as well. So we're gonna have the Sloppy Joe. It should be a little more exciting than a made right. It's all in one nice simple package here. So we've got wheat snack bread right there, right off the bat. Um, we have uh, our heater with our water, or no, that's our beverage bag with our beverage bag. A good spoon. Oh, jalapeno cheese spread, I like that. Orange beverage powder. Nuts and raisin mix, ooh, I like that. You know, that, I do love that. A fudge brownie, nut and raisin mix might go well with that. And our Sloppy Joe filling. So the flameless heater, this is interesting. They put the flameless heater in its own bag. It's in a bag, but seems a little redundant, but I'm all right with that. We'll tear here as per the instructions. Again, these flameless heaters have, basically it's a little battery and the battery doesn't make a charge until you add a little bit of water and then it kind of short circuits and causes heat. That's kind of the easiest way to explain how these heaters work. When I was active duty, we did not have heaters. Heaters were carburetor on the Jeep. Ooh, that's getting hot already. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, what the heck? carburetor on a Jeep, a tank, a hot sun if I was in Beirut, that worked pretty well. I think I should have probably put that in there first, but yeah, that's gonna heat up nice and fast, I think. <laughs> Speaking of Beirut, I'll have some pictures from Beirut, a few stories. Um, all right, we've got our orange electrolyte powder. Again, think Gatorade, let's get that mixing right now. I'm just gonna pour it in the package. You want to make sure you add just the right amount. It says uh, add uh, half a canteen cup. So you know what? We better do that right. <laughs> My trusty Marine Corps from 1983 canteen and cup. Half a canteen cup of water. It's going to be about right. Hold back just a little bit. All right, we're going to check out Got our wheat bread here. This is gonna be what we'll use our use to make our sloppy joe. Now it doesn't come apart. You can see the sides there. Kind of cool how they, they must have stamped them out and then there's a, in the press, there's a little deal that allows the heat to get down there and bake it all the way through. That's just meant to be eaten as a one big piece of bread. Okay, we've got our raisin nut mix. This ought to be good. Oh man, that's got some, you got your Virginia peanuts in it. You've got some hazelnuts, some almonds and raisins. That's gonna be a good, uh, a good mix there. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Got a uh, fudge brownie. Again, it's fresh, so it ought to be good. There we go. Delectable, delightful. Last but not least, Get our jalapeno cheese spread out on the tray here. Put that, oh, that's got a little liquid to it there. There it is. There we 
go. That's a unique uh, combo there with that that oil. Mm. I'll have to stir that up a little bit before I put that on a piece of bread or anything. Should have kneaded it up a little bit better in the package, but I honestly didn't think after two or three years it would be uh, be that big of a deal. But obviously it was. I should have uh, taken the time to mix it better. To get our accessory pack opened up here. All right, we got our little Tabasco. Splenda. Creamer for the coffee. Taster's Choice, not Bill's Brew, that's interesting. A moist towelette. Salt, I like when things come with salt. Toilet paper. Gum. And matches. It worked just fine. So this is interesting because it's the hot beverage bag I'm not drinking coffee out of this. <laughs> and I'm not gonna use the heater to do coffee. I'm gonna get some hot water and just have the coffee straight like that. All right, Taster's Choice going in here. Nice thick granules, I like that. Well, let's, let me show you guys a few photographs from Beirut and tell you a little bit about some of my adventures there. One of the things that I was able to do while we were there because I drove Jeep for some officers was uh, snap some pictures while we were out and about. And at one point we drove by the American University in Beirut and I, I was fortunate enough to be stopped for a moment and I was able to get a picture of the actual plaque that showed American University of Beirut 1866. And the thing that's so interesting, I mean, you can obviously see the Middle Eastern influence with the uh, that key uh, type entrance and entryways, the arches. Actually, the American University in Beirut was initially chartered in New York by a Protestant missionary who had been doing a lot of work in the Middle East, and they decided that Beirut would be a great place for a university to be able to educate folks from all different ethnicities and backgrounds for mainly medical college, nurses college, and pharmaceutical college so they could help minister, if you will, to people in their own uh, areas there throughout the Middle East. Remember, this is the 18, mid 1800s. So the state of New York first chartered this school in 1863, and then the guys went about to go get money, and uh, it was commissioned the Syrian Protestant College in 1866. It was non-denominational. As I say, they trained doctors and nurses and pharmacists. And then in 1920, uh, it was the name was changed to the American University of Beirut. You can see the, the different architectural aspects of it. This next picture is kind of interesting in that, you can, number one, you can see this big, beautiful Cadillac from the 1980s, which is when I was there, 1983. But in front of the entrance there, you can see a, it was probably an Israeli with a troop carrier with probably a 55 caliber machine gun to be my guess. You guys that are more knowledgeable, that could probably correct me, but with the sandbags all around it to protect from rifle fire and maybe a small rocket. In this picture, it's kind of interesting because all around the city, there were bombed out, burned out buildings. Some had been hotels, some had been apartments. I'm not quite sure what this particular building was, but the carpets, the Persian rugs hanging over the ledges there on the lanai or the balcony re reminded me of while we were there, there was a sergeant, and I won't say his rank other than he was at least a sergeant. Uh, I don't want to get him in trouble even 40 years later, but he had found a deal on one of these carpets and he brought it back to battalion. I don't remember, I don't remember being involved in the acquisition, but anyway, he brought it back and we had had, I was in intelligence and we had had an antenna case uh, that housed an antenna and the antenna got broken during a high wind or something during transport. Something had happened to the antenna and it was, it was totally busted. It wasn't worth bringing back. So this sergeant, uh, he rolled up the Persian rug and we put it in an antenna box for him, closed it all up because we flew back and forth to Beirut. We didn't have to take the ship. Most of the guys had to take a 30 day float back and forth. We didn't have to do that. We just flew to Germany and then flew over to back to the States. 
typically. So he was able to get that on a transport because we were in intelligence, nobody could look at any of our gear. So he got to sneak back a Persian carpet back home. My only wish at the time was that I had high enough rank to be able to pull something like that off because that was pretty cool to be able to say you had a Persian carpet from Beirut for the rest of your life and pass on to your kids. But anyway, I hope he's still enjoying it to this day. Well, let's see how the meal's doing here. Let's see what our Sloppy Joe filling looks like here, guys. Oh, oh my. Oh boy. Better hold that down close. Oh, I see some meat, uh, alpo, I mean meat uh, kind of looking stuff in it. Let's see here. We want to get it all out because we want to make sure we taste it all. Oh boy. I see tomatoes. That doesn't look too shabby. I mean, doesn't look great, but for a sloppy joe, it doesn't look too shabby. Hmm. Well, I think we should say a quick prayer and let's get after it. Lord God in heaven, thank you for this food. Thank you for this day you've put before us that we can rejoice and be glad in it. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. All right, well, let's see here. Let's take a drink of coffee first, since it's just going to get nothing but hotter. That's good. That's decent coffee. There's no complaints there with that coffee. And then, because we're non-traditionalists, let's do dessert first, shall we? We got the, oh, that's moist. That is just, it's very moist, very uh, flaky. Very chocolatey. We got, oh, there's, wal there's a walnut there. Look at that. Put a couple of walnuts together with our cake. Do you have any? Oh, there's another walnut. Another walnut. There you go. Watch that. That's a brownie. Not shabby. Mmm. Not shabby at all. Let's put a little bit of uh, creamer in there. I don't usually do creamer, but what the heck. Let's live large today. And all right, there we go. That, boy, that creamer does cut the acidity down. So now let's try some of the brownie with the hazelnuts. Let's see, we get we got three of the old hazelnuts there. Little brownie. I see why you don't see recipes for brownies with hazelnuts in them. They don't pair that well together. Let's try brownie with almond. Again, I don't see many recipes for that, but let's just try it. See what it think, what it see what it tastes like. Not bad. I prefer walnuts, but maybe it's just because what I'm used to. The nut mix is good. I like raisins. I like the variety of nuts in it. Of course, they're mostly peanuts, which is pretty standard. Um, but the raisins aren't dried out completely. They're good. The nuts are good. I think it could use a little salt, actually, in the nut mix. We'll put a little bit in there. In fact, what I'm going to do, we'll put a little bit on our hand. Got some coarse ground salt. And then put a few nuts. There we go. That makes the raisins. That makes the raisins taste sweeter. That little bit of salt and the nuts taste better. That's a good mix. Now let's get after this cheese. It's separated out a little bit more, so I'll mix it together a bit again. That's some gnarly looking cheese, to be honest. Yeah, a little darker than most, I would say. Huh? Let's see what we think here. I can, I can uh, chew the, maybe that's nuts left over. I didn't cleanse the old palate. I was going to say that I can chew some jalapenos there, but that might have been nuts. That's pretty spicy. Um, I, don't, I don't care for a lot of spice. <clears throat> now that's, uh, um, that's it's, it's good. The heat is not like right away when it gets in your mouth. It's that typical heat. You wait till you have it there a little bit and then swallow it. And then it's like, ooh, that's pretty good. But it's not unbearable. It's not so much you can't stand it. Let's put a little bit on our bread here. We like cheesy bread. And there it is. 
<laughs> that bread, for being three years old, isn't too shabby. Hmm. Amazing how that makes the, the journey. Amazing. Try the bread just by itself after we cleanse the old palate. Mmm. What does that bread taste like? It tastes like, um, tastes kind of like a wheat thin that's not crunchy. That's, that's a nice flavored bread actually. That actually has some um, good flavor all by itself. Cool. Very cool. Well now, let's see here. Make sure we lick that off good. So we've got our Sloppy Joe mix. It's got little pellets of beef in it. It has some tomatoes and probably some onion and who knows what all else in there. Oh, there's a green pepper. So we'll try a bite of it by itself first. Okay, ground beef has kind of a mealy texture. The texture on the ground beef has a, leaves a little bit to, to, to be desired, but the taste, the overall taste, by itself, just like this, is really quite good. There's a lot of paste to it, a lot of tomato paste, and that's good. That 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 is a uh, tasty, and it, it has some spices in it. It's it's not hot, not hot, but it is spicy, just the way it is. It's kind of like a chili. It's not hot like ho oh, oh, ho hot to the taste like jalapeno, but it's got a spice to it. Uh, but that is, I'll tell you what guys, that is a good meal. I could see, hmm, horsing that one down. I'd trade for this one. Wow. We gotta try a little bit of um, jalapeno with it, heat it up a little more. That looks delectable. Mm. Ooh. Mmm. I, I prefer to have the cheese separate with the bread and just have that chili because that chili, the way it is flavored, the way it is spiced up, that's perfect just the way it is. That is a good meal overall. This is a good meal. And I don't typically like chocolate cake, but with the nuts, that makes that chocolate cake that much better as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, test my limits here. We'll throw, throw down a little bit of our Tabasco sauce. But, but I have to say, with this dish, the, the Sloppy Joes, there, you don't need any salt. I mean, that, you know, normally I like to say, I like a little salt with this, but boy, on this one, you do not need um, any, any spices or any salt as far as I'm concerned. But, but let's give the old Tabasco sauce a little try here. All right. Immediately it adds like a tomato taste to it and then it burns a little bit when it goes down for me That's th th that this is the best um, Menu item I've added Tabasco sauce to that it actually doesn't kind of ruin it It actually pairs well with it. This is a this has been a pleasant surprise all the way around Mmm. No, yeah. the texture again is not quite what I like. It is more like chili but the flavor is right there, and this bread is a great foil. It's a real neutral, almost a little bit of a sweet to it bread that makes it just a perfect blend. That is quite good. Let's get our orange drink out here. <clears throat> Look at that. Got a little bit of... That looks good. Oh, mm hmm. There you go. That might be some of the sugar and stuff there. Oh, yeah. So we'll mix that up good with it. Orange powder drink going down. Quite good. It's like a Gatorade Powerade. That adds just a fun flavor to the whole meal. I got to tell you, this has been a pleasant surprise, truly. Um, in fact, if I wanted to make it more like an orange drink rather than like a Powerade thing, I think I would probably do a little of that in there. Don't want to do too much because I don't need a lot, I don't think, but let's try that. Oh, what the heck, let's make it sweet. 
<laughs> Let's make it like a kid's drink. See, see if that does it. Oh yeah, that's like an orange pop kind of thing without the fizz. Mmm. That actually improved it. As if it could have been improved. Well Ace, there you go. There's a little bit of gum for you. There you are. Thank Piece you. for me. Didn't mean to be stingy, I just couldn't get it out. There we go. Cheers. Bon Appetit. Oh, that's good gum. It's, um, I'd say peppermint. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Guys, if you get a chance to get your hands on one of these meals, uh, this Sloppy Joe, I think is very good. Um, it's, I mean, it, it all the way around. The, the, the sweet with the nuts, and then this, the, the, the Sloppy Joe mix itself, which was kind of more like chili, with that bread was fantastic. Cheese was good with the bread. Let's get after the next one.